Thank you for joining the Roving Bellies for part three of our Princess Cruise from Sydney to Tasmania and back. Last week, we explored Tasmania's convict past at the historic penal settlement of Port Arthur, before spending a day wandering around Tasmania's capital city, Hobart. Today, we sail to Tasmania's beautiful Freycinet Peninsula for some scenic cruising in Oyster Bay, before we head back to the southern New South Welsh town of Eden to learn about its whaling past. Good morning from the Freycinet Peninsula. Today we're cruising around Oyster Bay and Wineglass Bay for morning sightseeing cruise. And then it's a couple of days just to relax, days of sea on the way back to New South Wales. Freycinet Peninsula is a large peninsula of rugged pink granite mountains and pristine white sandy beaches on Tasmania's east coast. It forms Great Oyster Bay on the inland side and the seaward side features the world-renowned beach at Wineglass Bay. Today we'll be cruising around Oyster Bay before heading up the eastern coast of the peninsula past Wineglass Bay before leaving Tasmania and setting course for mainland Australia. Look how close we are to the shore. Yeah. Dolphins, but it wasn't quick enough. I'm uh, getting the camera out. The rocks look like they're rusting. It's all got that orange terracotta rusty colour. So this is Wineglass Bay. People say it's one of the best beaches in the world. Certainly one of the best beaches in Australia. It's just quite uh, quite remote though. <laughs> so I think that's about as close as we're going to get. But we're heading back out to sea. After leaving Oyster Bay, we bid a fond farewell to Tasmania and headed north, across Bass Strait, and back to mainland Australia. Where's Lydia? Is that her? There she is! I can see her down there. That's our room. Careful, careful. It's only got a couple of glasses to go. <laughs> we spent the next day and a half on board our ship sailing back to New South Wales. Personally I really enjoy the sea days. You can do as much or as little as you want to do. There are plenty of activities to take part in, if bingo, trivia pursuit competitions or dance classes are your thing. And if you prefer some rest and relaxation, you can lounge by the pool, treat yourself to a massage at the day spa or unwind with your beverage of choice at one of the bars. 
Lydia and I discovered the Conservatory, an air-conditioned recreation area on the upper deck at the front of the ship, with great views and lots of comfy lounge chairs to sit and relax in, read a good book, or maybe have an afternoon nap. Looks like the spot. <laughs> Nice relaxing day, sitting reading my book, watching Bass Strait pass by us. Hmm. I could get used to this. The evening entertainment included an operatic production show, followed by live music in the atrium. As the full moon lit our way north, we called it a night looking forward to arriving in Eden in the morning. Well, welcome to Eden on this fine sunny morning. I might go in and look at the whaling museum. Enjoy the day before the weather turns this afternoon. Museum to see old Tom. Eden is well known as a whaling town for about 100 years from about 1830 to 1930. The killer whales used to help the whalers by working in packs to um, round up the balloon whales and the back whales and drive them into shore where the whalers uh, were able to harpoon them. And in return, Whalers gave him the whale tongue and lips as a reward. This is the skeleton of old Tom, the leader of the killer whale pack. Those skies are looking menacing. Better get back to the ship before the heavens open. Saying goodbye to Eden before the storm hits. Hopefully, it won't be too rough this evening. Looks like we're leaving Eden just in time. dining rooms on the final night of the cruise, all the waiters formed a congo line and performed the traditional baked Alaska parade. There was much cheering and napkin waving as everyone let their hair down and clapped along. All too soon the fun was over and we went back to our room to pack our bags and go to bed ready for our early morning arrival back in Sydney.